Uh, can we please welcome current USC head coach, Steve Sarkeesian. Steve. Welcome, thanks for being here. Got to win more games, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You're my hero. You're welcome, my hero. welcome, Sark. It's Thank great you. to it's great to have you here and continuing this this great tradition. You, you talk about sort of some of the things that maybe you developed when when you were an assistant coach at Pete that you've helped maybe build into your philosophy. Wow, I don't know. <laughs> you can say <laughs> hi That's first. You can That's say a lot. I will say there's one moment that stands out to me first and foremost, and we talk about the 34 game winning streak and all that. I, I remember the night that that streak got broken. Uh, we were in Corvallis, Oregon, and we lost a, a really tough ball game there. Right there, there at the end, it was 33-31, and the offense had five turnovers in that game. And I felt miserable, right? The, the, is the guy working with the offense, and that didn't go well. And as soon as we got into that coach's locker room, and it's one of the more crummy locker rooms in our conference, it's about on par with Arizona. Uh, coach came right up to me and said, Sark, this is what I'm going to say to the team. This is how I'm going to say it. This is the stuff I'm going to focus on, and this is how I'm going to bring it back. And he had been preparing for this speech for probably, I don't know, Coach, how long? I mean, it's, I don't know how many, how many, where do you think you're going to win 30-something games? Yeah, I know. You know, that, the speech has just been I, over and over. On it. The speech gets done. I'm still feeling crummy. He comes right back to me in my locker again to talk more about why he said what he said, how he built the team up at the end. And I think that was just indicative of the preparation that this guy puts into place. You know, I think so many times um, we see all the, the smiles and the hugs and him having fun, which is an unbelievable mannerism in, in, in who he is as a person. Uh, but there is a lot of hard work in there. There is a lot of dedication. There's so much preparation. There's so much contingency planning that takes place, and he was prepared for every moment for whatever was around the corner. He's always expecting something good around the corner to be there, but for whatever might be there, I think that's the biggest thing that sticks out to me is the preparation so that you develop the knowing that you're worthy of winning, that you're worthy of being successful, that you're worthy of being in a position of, of having that belief, of having that confidence, of, of knowing you're in that position to be successful. So I, I thought that was a really cool moment for me as a, as a young coach who uh, I had countless talks with him, but that one really stood out to me.